democratic demographic from voting. And that, to me, seems like they don't think that... That's only one um, of the tactics. The, That's only that one of the tactics. they can win Lots without of preventing people from voting. Remember that, that I felony mean, game they pulled in Florida where anybody, if you had the same name as somebody who ever right. had a felony, you couldn't right. vote? Right, I mean, God, that was the same kind fuck? of thing, only they're really trying to uh, codify it. I don't think people I mean, are aware of that. We need to bring that. You know, we need to be aware of that and bring that out. They got the money. Find all the tricks. Say that again. I mean, you're discussing. You're discussing how uh, the rich, mostly through the Republicans, uh, manipulate how it ends up going down. So that's what we. That's that's one of the things that we're up against to uh, try to keep from prevailing. You know, and. In the same way that you were saying that, um, are you know, Occupy that you? has brought... Are the there any corporate boycotts that you know about that I could join in on? Do you know any, Does anybody you know Walmart? Walmart? Oh, yeah, I'd work at Walmart. Oh, the Walmart. 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 Sure. I don't go to Walmart. Yeah. Is it really that spread? Yeah. Are there really a bunch of... I mean, nobody spent at Walmart? I mean, I go to Walmart because that's okay. where I can get the most bank for my right. background. You can, yep. Yeah. Give yeah. me a hand. Yeah. Kirk, Kirk, Kirk. Kirk. This is, we got this group together to explore these very subjects. You're not alone in your feelings. But I'd like you to feel a member of this community rather than a separate entity talking to us and trying to convince us of something that you think we don't know what, you know, we haven't oh, no, heard I, before. No, I, everybody's very succinct. No, you, no, not, no, you're okay. wrong there. I mean, well, it just really, seems to me you guys that, got that you're, you're, you're on your game. That you're in a struggle here with us to tell us something that we're you don't no, think we're getting. No, no, I think the, I came to find out who's boycotting what. <laughs> well, no, I don't want not, you to I get really locked did. into really boycotting did. and say, well, it's the, the only, thing you listen, want to talk about is the boycotting. We spend is the only what we got left. I'm I just don't, telling you. But I don't want to hear anybody who says I have the answer. Let's not talk about anything else. You guys just don't understand. I hear too much of that. Um, I'm okay to be wrong. I'm, I'm okay to be wrong. I'm going to go back to my house. I'm not going to your... We're not going to each other's houses. I just... I want to know, is anybody boycott, boycott and what are you boycotting? Oh, and then there was so, a, I want to be on the same... I want to be on the same something about this. This is awesome. There was a move, awesome. move the money out of the banks, bank transfer day, uh, yeah, where yeah, everyone yeah, moved yeah, it. So yeah. that's a boycott. Yeah. I mean, that is another form of boycott. So that's Walmart. another... And I will do that, too. Right. I mean, yeah, okay. there's okay. Lots, of, lots of people don't Good shop answer. at Nike for their business. I mean, anyone. You could just choose your own personal your own personal morality about who do I want to shop for, which is what I think part of what Occupy is about, is encouraging people um, and to take that sort of... smoking cigarettes, maybe? Maybe, maybe. Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, let know. people talk. But, uh, hey, don't, please don't interrupt. But, uh, yeah, it could. Like, I mean, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that what a lot of what Occupy was about, for, or is about for me, is about, um, I mean, it's encouraging <laughs> people to take their own, I mean, people taking responsibility that I want my choices to be positive ones. From, from starting today, all my choices are going to be choices that create a more positive world. Our choices I want to make that'll recreate the world in such a way that I want to live in it. And I want to take joy in it. And that can be such a personal process. He's telling the truth. It should be more fun. Life in this country, Absolutely. at yeah. least. Absolutely. Life in this yeah. country. Absolutely. Of, of all country, countries in the world. Life in general should be a lot of fun. Should be everybody. a lot more fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, now. Okay. The, the purpose of this group sure. is basically to help the Occupy movement crystallize a lot of separate ideas about what needs to be done and what should be done yeah. into something coherent and something cohesive, something that we all buy in on, something that we all say yes to, and find out, and also to make a priority list. Say, well, we do agree with this, and this is, but this is the important one. This is number one. This is number two. This would probably be number three. We start coalescing so that when people say, what is Occupy all about? What is your, what are you trying to tell us? That we will have something to say that we all really believe in and care about. Now, we don't have that now. We have a lot of, it's like 50 discussion groups looking for a movement. It's all of us trying 
but on almost on separate tracks and little stove pipes. And then every once in a while we get together and say, well, what did you figure out? What did you? And then we break up again and, and talk about it. And it the co that, that feeling that we got when 500 people marched in one place in one time saying 99%, we are the 99%. This is what democracy looks like. We all, you feel it. And that's what moved us. And then the feelings dissipate and the red games start. And the ego games start. And the conflicts start. And the discussions start. And the arguments start. And then the, wind, the air goes out of the balloon. And we sit around saying, what happened to the movement? What happened to the movement? And I'm saying it's lost its passion, it's lost its direction, it's lost its, mostly its passion. Because we're all up here in our heads so much. And not getting to the heart what we care about, what we're willing to fight and, and die for, kind of. And push. You have to push other things aside. You can't deal with everything at once. You can't believe in everything at once. You can't believe it's all equally important. we got to do it all the way. we got to work out some way to come to an agreement on what we really feel about. Now, the only thing that I can think of, and that's why we're having four of these girls, is for us everybody to be saying, okay, I think I think we need to boycott them. This is my this is my strong belief. I think right. and everybody goes, okay, good. well thank you very much. That's the Next only, that's the only vote we got left. And then somebody says, well no, I think the children's rights, the real problem is the children are treated like slaves in this world. They're beaten and treated like they don't have any rights. I think children ought to be citizens. I think they ought to be treated like citizens from the moment they're born and that you shouldn't be allowed to beat them anymore. You should be allowed to beat adults. And I think that's the secret to everything. And then somebody else says, no, no, no. It's the economic situation. It's the banks. It's this. Okay, fine. Everybody throw it out there and we will look at it all piece by piece. And we'll all look at it and back and say, Okay, I think that ought to be like number five. And somebody has a passionate thing. I think they're implanting things in bodies and we well, ought to do that. You've got to stop and we say, interesting, but I don't think that's in the top 100. I, I just can't throw myself into that. It's a distraction. How about, you know, gay, lesbian, transgender, actual equality? So that you that's say we ought to, like, have a priority, you know, because I, I looked at this and thought it was beautiful, <laughs> and, but it isn't a priority list. It's, it's sort of everything. Yeah. So, so in, terms of, in terms of, like, activities or actions we should prioritize, or should we be, like, committees doing different things, or what well, do you I think? I think we need a committee as a whole to try and develop our vision of what want to accomplish. And I think we don't really know because so many people have so many different directions that they want to take the movement. Because so many it's not one thing, it's everything. It's everything. Yeah. And that Somehow, just I got you. You cannot <laughs> this has to be sold to the country. We have to market Occupy in such a way that people go, oh yeah, well that's what Occupy thinks. Or oh Let's check with Occupy because they usually are right on about these kind of things. We have to become the source of basically really progressive thinking in this country. Say, Barack Obama, and well, he is a centrist. He is a middle-of-the-road Republican. He's forced to do that by the system that he bought into. We are way to the left of Obama. Way to the left of Obama. We would like to push Obama way to the left of where he is right now. We want and him to be to not Bill that. Clinton, but FDR. Or Teddy Roosevelt. Taking on, saying, damn it, of course you hate me. I want you to hate me. I want you to hate me because Wait. I hate the system you've created. We're taking this down. I don't think he's going to be that that progressive. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I think I he's, he's already taken too much Wall Street money and he's already been too... You know, but we've the, the special interests have got that. to him. We've we have already, already pushed him. He's already starting to talk about and our... Wall Street is not his friend anymore. They, well, they I think before, he's, he's a really smooth talker, and he's really good at saying stuff that sounds good but doesn't have a whole lot of substance. Okay, I, I don't want to uh, make I, this discussion about Obama. You know, 
I'm just saying he is a centrist. We have to be the radicals. And we have to make a clear picture of what we mean by that. Radical about what? Change to what? Well, what I think, you know, if we're going to go to, like, causality, then um, then we ought to go to um, overturning Citizens United. I mean, not not original causality. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's... Overturning Citizens United is, is where we would be able to get our, our democracy back. Well, I'll tell you. I'm the most radical person in the room always whenever I go anywhere. The most radical idea that really works for me is Second Constitutional Convention. That we need to say, this whole system is, you can't fix it with 5,000 band-aids or 10,000 band-aids. The system is broken, it doesn't serve people, it serves all these crazy interests that don't have anything to do with people. People are suffering, people are in loss, and the Constitution says, well, that's fine, no problem, that's not a problem. Well, then we have to redesign it so that it is a people-centered constitution. If you have a constitutional convention, though, then it's, everything is broken open, and there's a, a tremendous risk, tr yep. a huge risk of, of, you know, people talk about the French Revolution, and I think that's a very real risk. I Absolutely. do not want to see Absolutely. a constitutional convention. Well, now, nice the original thing. constitution was written... Not for the whole general Whoops. public. It was written for the benefit of rich, white, land-owning, Protestant men. <laughs> and and We've modified it somehow. Down. Um, you know, I mean, I yeah, think we need to keep. It. We definitely need to keep the Bill of Rights, but we need to add on to it. We need to add the right to. There need to be more. Well, that, that this was something that that uh, FDR had written up before he died, and right. it never got introduced. The second Bill of Rights that everybody has the right, right to housing, food, right to medicine, the right to food, freedom from fear, freedom from But I mean, as far as some of that stuff that's in there from the 1700s, that you know, I mean, we could look at it. We can yeah. sit down and look at it and say, is this really what we want? I mean, I admit it's a radical idea and it is a, a huge... <laughs> but look what we have. Look what we ended up with. This, this, this country pretty much broke the world. We I put the world $575 trillion in debt, in imaginary debt. It doesn't even exist. <laughs> that it's all made up of just paper that's and ideas and thoughts. That's the financial system. That's, that, I, think, I don't think our... I don't think our political and governmental system is irredeemably broken. I think that's quite fixable. Well, it is now. Well, that's... And, but I think that is, you know, based largely because of Citizens United and that kind of legislation. And I think that is something we can get overturned without having a constitutional convention. I think the, con the Constitution is a conservative document. It's a very conservative document. And we try and modify it so it's not so damn conservative. And not so, you know, we jam civil rights in there to make sure that, you know, there's some kind of recognition that people need equal rights if, even if they don't have a dime. But the Constitution really defending all these very conservative ideals, and it's a very conservative government that says, we don't really want to change anything. We certainly don't want to make any fast changes. We certainly don't want to have human opinion, you know, mass opinion, all of a sudden influence us to do something that we don't want to do. We'll figure out a way that no matter what you bring up, we can veto it, we can block it, we can filibuster it. That whole thing of Obama's agenda being filibustered 163 times to make sure that nothing that he planned worked so that the, the government would collapse and they could say, we told you it would work. That's how the system works. Well, that's modifiable. I mean, they, sh they that should be modified and you don't have to break open everything to well, do that. I want, I want to open the discussion. I don't say, this is the way it has to be, but I want to put that on the table. Maybe we actually have to look at the very Constitution itself. Maybe yep. that might be the problem. And they are doing this in Iceland. They are having a constitutional convention. And it's brilliant in some ways. They're saying, 
there, no one who has ever run for office can be on the Constitutional Committee. No one who has ever run for office. I think we could also put no one who has a billion dollars on that. <laughs> we will have the people representing the people in a Constitutional Convention. I would have hope for such a convention. I would have hope that we're smart enough to set up a convention so that it could not be taken over by the moneyed interests because we're all aware of what happened. That one percent really has taken control of our country and is running us. They're just, they're laughing at us. They laugh at us. They sneer at us. They say, you don't have any money. We can buy and sell you a no, thousand they're, times over. Now they're like not afraid just of you. trying to gloss over it like we are like we all went away and quit or something. Yeah, I noticed that. That's I, what they want us to that's that. what they, that's what the, that's the message they're trying to send is, is just one that of... That it's passed. Yeah, the that it's passe. That it's, but yeah. I, but I, I still, I, I have a lot of trepidation about... I think you're right that we need to modify the Constitution. But I think going to the point of having a constitutional convention, I, I don't know much about Iceland, but in this country, I think there is enormous peril in doing that. And I well, don't think it's a good idea. It sounds idea. like you don't trust the American people. I don't, I don't trust that to be opened up in that kind of way, where you sweep away, I mean, that is sweeping away the Constitution and... and and opening it up to anything and everything. And I don't think that's a real good idea. I think there's a lot in the Constitution that is very wonderful and that we can build upon. And we can preserve it. I have and, no, and no And that needs to be that. preserved. But a constitutional convention is in, in this era, I think, is well, very to perilous. Fair, well, to be fair, if, if you were to open up a new constitutional convention and the consensus and that there was consensus built around that there are parts of the constitution that are worth preserving i would have faith that those parts would be preserved would they not i don't i don't know you don't know you don't I, share that I, I don't faith. know you don't share i that don't courage. i yeah. don't because there there are a lot of forces in this country that yeah. that would say oh boy That's now it's our cool. turn Thank to you. you know all right uh, Whatever, whatever they wanted. What were you going to say? Well, a couple things, um, since we're talking about the Constitution. They're kind of a couple unrelated points. One, I think we need to reform the way elections are held. I think we need to get rid of the Electoral College, and we need to get rid of the whole stupid carnival of the primary system where it's about how many delegates you have. and all. That. I think it just needs to be much more streamlined. They need to just count the votes. Second, I think maybe we should get rid of political parties. It doesn't, it nowhere, the Constitution nowhere says that we're a two-party system. And, and the whole, I think so much, just so much energy is wasted on partisan bickering. I don't, you know, I mean, like, me and Mom go back and forth about this all the time because she's a staunch Democrat and I'm somewhere between a green and a declined estate. Yeah. And, uh. But I don't, you know, it's always like, oh, it's some sinister Republican plot, and the Democrats are the guys on the white horses that are going to come in and make everything better. And, you know, the Democrats had the majority in the House and the Senate and had the White House the last, you know, from, what, 08 to, you know, and, and nothing really changed. They, they doubled the budget for domestic espionage under Obama. They, they kept Guantanamo open. They're still killing people in Afghanistan. It's like, what's really changed? Progressivism is not on the table. Real progressive politics is not on the table. It's not discussed. It's not treated rationally. It's just cast off as socialism, communism, so we don't have to talk about it. Yeah. And unless, unless Occupy brings the progressive viewpoint forward and makes it and legitimizes it, so people say, you know, I kind of understand the one percent, the ninety-nine percent. I get that, and I get that we really don't that there's something very wrong about that. No, I'm sorry, I want to hear. Um, well, my dad said that in, in, nowhere in the Constitution it said that the world had to be like two parties. Right. Well, there isn't really like two parties. There are like three parties. So, but there's like, there's, um... The Republicans, there's, the Democrats. Yeah. And then there's the Greens. There's the Greens, the Greens right? there's the Peace and Freedom, the there's the Socialist Party, there's the uh, American Independent, exactly. 
There are, there are, there are, but the only, but only the big two seem to get any right. respect. Exactly. Well, and but there is that's a, why. a, you know, there is a structure where you can get things through. I mean, there is a, a very strong progressive component in the Democratic Party, which is what I well, like to associate myself with. Exactly. But and we have to push very hard. That's true. Exactly. But that. But I, you know, this next election seems to me is going to be real important. Yeah. We're either going to go Tea Party or Occupy. Yeah. And I'm going to see you go I'm sorry, I've been I've It's all right. Just, I'm to fire, fire. fire. Uh, first of all, for, for circle maintenance, I, I want to invite you to sit. Thank you. Uh, or at least just say your name. My name is Ryan, Ryan Weagle. I've, I've come and visited a little bit, and I have some uh, time off from work. I'm born and raised in Sacramento, and I spend my time... Uh, on the road at times, and then I live in Northern California. Still have a house here in Oak Park. Well, you got a minute? Probably a little longer. Well, please, uh-huh. please join us. Cause well, thank you. I feel comfortable standing right this moment. Okay. We okay. just want to make sure. Thank you. Know, you. I understand. That's why I'm standing so, because if I sit down, I won't be able and to. And if, get I, up. if yeah. I don't see you off the corner of my eye, somebody let me sure. in No. Yes. Yes. Good. Well. <laughs> thank you. Um, I think that. There shouldn't be any leaders or presidents or anything like that. I think I think it should be like Occupy. There is no leaders or anything. Um. Yeah, it's basically he doesn't think there should be any government or any authority. Yeah, and like there would be like each town hall or something there at at least one day a week that they discuss it like we are right now. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, that there shouldn't be any presidents or leaders that that we that we go together. You know exactly. what I mean? Amen and a hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Exactly the point. That's why we always talk in GA that we are creating ground roots democracy and we're practicing democracy and we're learning how to do democracy and learning the messy difficulties of democracy and consensus building and learning to work together even though we have different ideas and yada 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 we're learning how to do it and it will produce something we are producing something and the question for the whole world is what are they going to produce this is this young genius is on top of one of the issues is that we would like to have more to do with our government the decisions we would like people asking us well what do you think well that we got together in town meeting our usual weekly town meeting, we discussed it, and we decided it's pretty obvious that we can't have that. And they go, thank you very much. We'll, we'll put that in, in the hopper. We have a, a situation where everyone in the world can be connected to every other person in the world instantly, all the time, 24 hours a day. Doesn't that mean that all those people can start participating in making decisions daily, how things should be decisions. Please, uh, thank you so much for your uh, And while we're at Occupy trying to make that happen, um, I think, like, you know how you see tea party signs everywhere? Tea party? But we only have signs in one place at the park. Maybe we should start putting them up around town yeah. instead of just putting them there. Yeah. I was thinking that I'd like to see every occupier have a sign, you know, in their car, you know, a sign that they love, and a sign that they would march with, and a sign where somebody said, says, how are you doing? You show your sign. And so that we'd all have a sign, just like we should all have a tent. We should all have, we should all be ready to occupy anywhere at any time. We were getting ready. I had this wonderful idea for the Occupation Renaissance Fair. We occupy a farm, we have a renaissance fair, we put up 500 tents, and we just kind of keep them for a few weeks, few months, however long it takes, because we miss that community feeling. We miss that everybody together in the tents 24 hours a day, together in each other's faces, working stuff out. We missed it. That seemed to me almost the best part of Occupy is we didn't get to Occupy. And I would like to see us Occupy. And I know a farmer who would like to see us occupy their farm. But that's the kind of thing I want to start churning in this community. How can we make this thing 
dynamic and fantastic and so obvious that people go, well, of course, of course. Because there's so much conditioning. Our society has been conditioned to believe all sorts of just stupidity. And then when you tell them the truth, they go, oh, oh gee, I didn't realize. Hmm, that, makes, that makes a lot of difference. 99%, 1%, yeah, I kind of get it. A lot of it, I think, is like that. That the American people have just been conned and flim-flammed and lied to and manipulated and, you know. So, the truth sounds like gold to them. They go, oh my God, wow, that's really something. So it's our job to spread the truth of our movement. I, we're, we're right about this. This in the world needs to change in the direction of a cooperative community where we're all taking care of each other instead of individuals fighting over the scraps of meat that the 1% happens to drop from their windows. We want a more cooperative, person-centered, loving, caring community that cares about how everybody's doing. And this one thing, we should care not about how the best people in our society are doing, but how the least people are doing in our society. That should be our concern. How are they doing? That should be our focus. Not on how's business, who's got the most money, who are the top 400 billionaires. I don't care. I want to know how the poorest people are doing. And that's where the focus of the society should be. And that means we have to have a more cooperative society. Competition just means, oh, well, they're the losers. We've got to have losers. we got winners. we got losers. Oh, well, you're a loser. Sorry. Good that's job. not good enough anymore. Okay, uh, you first. Um, uh, there's, there's, um, two things, actually. Um, at school we read a book about that, uh, well, we read a book, um, it was like the class thing, we read a book together, anyway, and it was about, it was about this garden and everyone was like, deciding what to put in it and everybody was deciding for themselves and was selfish yeah. except this one girl and and she she was thinking about everybody she put like she put um spinach zucchini tomatoes and everything she she made sure everybody's fruit got in the garden I not see. just one person and the second thing is <laughs> i totally agree with you about bringing an Occupy to, an, to a farm, but the, and 500 tents and stuff, but the cops would wipe us out immediately. What we want to do is sort of like scare off the cops or make a deal with the cops. Well, I want to make a deal with it. I want to make it perfectly legal. If it's somebody's farm and we're invited to be there, the to cops have a can't. Yeah. What's the law? What law against that? Isn't that what Woodstock was? Yeah, what, didn't, wasn't exactly. that on somebody's that's farm? Yeah. farm? That's right. That's yeah. right. Exactly. Teddy Kennedy said the uh, fundamental test of society is how it treats the least of its members. Run that by me again, yeah. The fundamental test of society is how it treats the least of its members, or the least powerful of its members, I forget yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And we've got a totally, totally wrong. And I think, like I said, I think we'll get it right. There you go. Actually, I hear we do have a farm someplace that is uh, manned by occupied people and it's to create an economic system within themselves that they produce whatever they need. And uh, I don't know the <laughs> details to all of it. I know one of those who used to be one of the full-time occupiers here has moved over there to work yeah, on there. there's a farm. Oh, actually, yeah, where's that? Is that around here? I have no idea. <laughs> They're growing produce and... I have a point. That's, that over, 30 minutes that, that's Tat's farm. I used to know his parents. His parents were really stellar parts of the community. And Tat has it now. It's a little bit of a um, personal, social, emotional turmoil. So lots of that truth is there, but there also is the history of owning and land ownership. And I do believe that there's a problem with taking care of one's own uh, responsibilities with whatever. So Tat has himself in a bind, and he came to Occupy and asked for help. 
and so he's getting a lot of help. Mm -hmm. So it's to like uh, to occupy to prevent foreclosure. Or no, I wish like I don't think it's that. Uh, I don't know exactly, but uh, hi, Pat, if you're listening to this, uh, maybe your parents said, um, uh, I don't know, but I've heard a lot of uh, uncomfortable things. I've heard some good things, but it's a big thing, yeah. But I like that idea, too, and uh, uh, the Full Belly Farm has something together where they get together one, uh, you know that, with the hose down up in the Cape Bay Valley. It's a uh, harvest festival in October. Well, I would just like a place for us to occupy the occupiers of Sacramento. So, one place at one time to be able to come to the place and stay a couple nights and then go home or live there for six weeks or but for us to have that experience because I think that's what created Wall Street, what created DC, what created Oakland. They were together. They had worked all through the night, many nights to come out and we've kind of skipped over that and we've just gone to the intellectual stuff and we've Left, left a lot of the heart out of it somehow sure. because we weren't there. Now, I don't know if we can replicate that, but that's another one of my crazy ideas that just, I think we should be throwing out a lot of crazy ideas and saying, well, nah, 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 talking them over, and some of them might be brilliant, you know. I, I like crazy ideas because I'm tired of the same old stuff over and over again. I yeah. want new ideas. Say again, say again. So I, I'd like to say the thank you to all the occupiers. So I think this is the longest running Occupy that hasn't been stopped right here. I think this is probably the longest running. I don't know if this is talked about in this world, but uh, all the other ones for some reason stopped Oakland, different people. Um, I'm someone who deals with land management issues, big processes, people and processes. And I'm, I'm interested in success stories. I'm interested in thinking about the bigger picture. I'm... Um, I'm not very interested in occupying this land that we already do own and having a tent and stuff. I, I'm interested in the processes of uh, helping all of us get together to talk about large solutions. For myself, across the way, that's a wonderful thing, but there's way better things in the world. Um, I'm interested in doing things like mimicking Palo Alto's uh, advisory committees in the city council, which were denied here. We could, we could uh, uh, te create that template where they have uh, human relations commissions, they have an environmental commissions, different commissions, where people like here get together, they're all volunteer, and then they recommend. I would like to uh, just, just find some people, create that, propose it to city council. I'm sure that they will deny it. We still have it, and we still bring it, present it to them. I would also like to uh, talk about uh, the Constitution was written about a different time and a different place. And also democracy in that realm had another thing with the people. So we had the legislative, judicial, we had the executive, and we had the people. And that was a branch of the party which was written when the Constitution was brought out as an equal matter. And at that time it was. We had muskets and we were able to rally and we had a real thing to fight. But now it's not there. So my, my point is I would like to talk about whether this Constitution thing that we all bring back or democracy really ever worked. Is it working? Are we putting our faith in something that's not really ever going to help us? And it's, maybe it's just a tool for the processes that be now. And and things like that. And I, I agree with everything you're saying. I've liked hearing about you talk about we are judged by the, 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 the how much wealth we could share, not how much wealth we can keep, which is helping the, the people. And, and I agree, and I'm glad to be here. And. Uh, and I appreciate your input, and, that, and I think that kind of thinking, that kind of outside the box thinking, is what's necessary to make this thing work. The only problem is, with so many different people saying, kind of, step aside, I think I've got the answer for you. And, and uh, let yes. me finish. Oh, I want and, to hear more. Yeah. And that, there are many people mm -hmm. full of ideas and mm -hmm. beliefs and a direction they want to go, and what we have confronted is cross purposes. People yeah. saying, well, yeah, I like what you do, but I would really like to go here. And somebody saying, yeah, yeah, that, you both yeah. signed it, but I'd really like to go over here. Right. And what this group is all about is to try and bring all of these things together, make sure that everybody has had their say, that everybody has heard what everybody had Wonderful. to say, that everybody gets to talk about what everybody's had to say, and we say, okay, how do we What's the top priority here? 
What do, what do we agree Listening. is number one? Listening. And it might take a week to figure out the top five yeah. or the top ten. But then we say, these are the things that we will right. fight and die for and that we will start working on. We will start so, looking for action. We will start looking for But first, we have to come to agree. So, so first, in we have to get past yes. you telling me and then me telling them. I agree. Saying, no, and I want to hear everyone. Yes. Uh, everyone. And then also, I would like some leaders. And, and we could call it whatever we want. It just happens by the fact that they're going to get shot tomorrow anyway. Or they're going to fall and get burned out. I don't mind leaders. So I would like your leader right now to me. I feel a big leader. Yeah, so. But I heard about leaders. We don't like don't leaders. We don't have leaders. Heard leaders. Comment. We have facilitators. Right. Well, they are. Right. Trying to right. help the community yeah. as a sure. whole, yeah. not step aside, I'm going to tell you what to do, nice. but let's get together and function as a community so that this thing can work and learn how to do it. It is not easy. It is not difficult. Yes. There's a I lot agree. of difficulties, a lot yeah. of back and forth, a lot of that, <laughs> uh, baloney. Yeah. I don't believe that. And a lot of, well, I mm -hmm. think so. That's what we've been avoiding. That's what we've been afraid to deal with. That's what we have yeah. to fight our way through. And we've got, we're meeting next Saturday, same time, same station. We're meeting next Saturday, same time, same station. We're doing the same thing. We're going to continue this out. I am, I admit, I am disappointed that as much effort as I put in to try and get turnout from the people that I've been going to their teachings, I've been sitting and listening and contributing and talking, and why they can't be here, I don't know. I guess we have a disheartened group that just doesn't believe that it matters anymore. And it's that's painful to me. That that's, I mean, uh, I was pleading, please come down, join, talk, say what you got to say. And a lot of people are just saying, no, I'm not interested. I tell you, I'm not so discouraged I'm not going to give up and I'm not going to be back here next Saturday and the next Saturday after that. But, well, please, please. Don't, I, I would say don't be discouraged because, um, uh, you know, it's going to ebb and flow and ebb and flow. Um, this is winter. Um, you know, there are going to be times when any given person is not going to be able to come. But um, there are people, I mean, every time we show up, there are people who are so stalwart and here, and, and those people are going to be here, and I admire them, and we're going to show up, we're going to try to show up every weekend, you know, um, I think I think it will continue as long as people hang in there, but there are going to be times when there aren't that many people, and there are going to be other times when, when people, you know, are here in, in big numbers, so... Well, see, that's what I was kind of wondering. Where are some of the original people? I mean, you know, some, some I know some of the people, you yeah. know, are still here, but where's April and Autumn and Sean, who looks like Lennon, and uh, the other Sean, and the other Sean? The the, some of them are uh, over at that farm, I think. Where is that? Where they all went? Yeah, that was what somebody because was there was. I mean, there was like a a much bigger group that was here all the time. But that'll happen yeah. again, you know. Winter well, is kind of hard. Just, I don't think it's going to happen. It's just kind of so, fall out of the sky. No. Something has to stir this group yeah. up. And frankly, that, that's what I've been trying to do. Is take, make people mad, stir them up, get them out here, get them to argue with me, get them to do something, get them to show up. Well, and oh. I don't know what else to do other than that. I, I also think... I'm sorry, Dan. Um, I also think that um, it... it is a good idea to ally with other groups like Move to Amend to get to get those you know connections going, um, so that we can uh, you know overturn Citizens yeah, United yeah. and 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 they're they've got you know big organizational things happening and we can we can put a it's, lot into those. It's groups. So hard, I think, realistically, to work with those groups. Because they have their own leadership, their own agendas, their own things. They want you to fit in their event. And Occupy has resisted being incorporated into anybody else's agenda for a good reason. Because I think we are the voice of progressivism 
not of compromise, not of incrementalism, not of band-aids on bullet wounds. We're open up the whole system and let's take a look at this damn thing because it's broken. It's not just a little bit broken, it's broken. And well, I feel like I belong here, but yet I, I, I guess I'm sort of an incrementalist. Because I, I, uh, I think we can do a lot if we, you know, we don't have to give over ourselves to those groups in any way we don't want to. But they're doing positive things. And, and you know, we don't want to cut off our noses and spite our faces just to say we're not, we're not going to participate with them. We should participate with them. You know, we, we made it so there was a big group of people uh, at, at the courthouse that weekend or that Friday night, Friday afternoon. Um, and that, you know, is meaningful, but I think if we keep being involved, it, it, it helps us and it, and it helps the whole, the whole movement. Yeah, true, true. And I see this, I'm not trying to replace everything with this group, with this meeting, but I'm addressing what I think is a, a lack in the, in the Occupy, a, a vacuum, something that's missing. And it's, we're not going to find it at SEIU or, it, you know, nobody is going to provide that for us. That has to come from within yeah. Occupy. Oh, he was there. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I do, I mean, I, I feel there's no, there's no one solution. I mean, there's no one way to do things. I think, like, the, the sort of, like, I'd like to break down a few walls, if, if you'll permit me. Um, so the, the choice between, like, full-blown revolution and incrementalism, I think, is, is uh, one false dichotomy. I think we always have to be working towards both. And, like, and, and this is a theme for me. Like, you always have to try all approaches. And certain people are going to work within the system. Certain people are going to work without, outside the system. But we have to do both simultaneously because we do have options. We do have tools available now. We do have elections, even if there's electronic voting machines without people or receipts yeah. that are totally corrupted yeah. and there's fraudulent. You know, like, but we still have to do this. You know, we still have to use the tools that we have and, and all the tools we have. So I think, like, even if even if we want a revolution and, and really change the thing, then by working towards incremental fixes in, in serious ways that are more constitutional, either I, I do like the, the small movement that's starting towards a con constitutional Congress, and, I, and I'm a, in full support of a constitutional amendment uh, for campaign finance reform, and I, hopefully beyond just uh, Citizens United, because it's been bought my whole lifetime, you know? <laughs> so... Um, so I, I guess that that's one big aspect for me. Just just that, like I hope we can we can see that as a way, like working on those incremental changes that are in effect revolutionary because of the effort that that's required. Um, that that both you know cr like inches our existing system towards where we want to see it and helps us clarify those components of whatever system we want to see. You know. What are, however it manifests, like we need that pro that kind of process and that kind of coalition building to, to help clarify what, what the specifics look like. Um, yeah, well, elections are going to make a difference. Elections yeah, make yeah. A difference. And we ought to we ought to have a place in pushing candidates and everybody as far. In. We could boycott, boycott parties too. That's another type of boycott that I like. <laughs> well, I think yeah. Occupy is already being seen as beyond both the parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they say these are not Republicans or Democrats. They're something else. I don't know what they are, but they're something else. Democrat. And we are going to define what that something else is. And it's legitimizing the progressive element of this society, saying these are legitimate points of view. A cooperative society is a legitimate aspiration for a society. And this society has proven itself to be fatally flawed. We've demonstrated it being fatally flawed. So the only question is, what are we going to do? And that's what we should be talking about. But couldn't we be talking about the fatally flawed, what, how and where? And maybe, I don't want to get caught up in what well, the flaws are. No, I don't either. But I think stepping outside, as it's the best that I did, somewhere outside of the box. I, I think everyone else is way in front of me, but, but so I want that to go. But I think this is, yeah. So, so I mean, these people. But, uh, but uh, I think no, it's very. I want you to say so, what you want to say. So, we've got plenty of time. 
democracy came over and it was designed for 13 colonies over on the East Coast with the leader and these these things, okay? Now it's a lot different. I, I don't think it really even worked at the beginning except for the 1%, and it's not working now. So we are engaging in a process that is not healthy. And so we are using a process that's unhealthy the whole time. So how can we fix an unhealthiness? How can we fix an alcohol or a version of something like that? So talking about fixing what is broken, what this, this, the, this, the, this system, getting people out of office or something, of course that's good. These are not good people. But we are just participating in that thing again. And I seriously do not see where it worked in the very beginning. Women had to fight for ownership of land, ownership of... of uh, voting rights and stuff and so at the beginning it wasn't okay so why is it okay now and then and then if and if we were in an agreement i want to hear everybody i really do because uh I, if, if we were in agreement on this one then we could go to something else and maybe or else i would have to say i gotta find some other people because i think right now we have enough people the people that aren't here it's fine and what we need to put is a piece of paper down and create the world we want it's it's really that simple. Of what course, it's me? very of course it won't. Work. It's very difficult, but it is that simple. And you're stating by the words. I think as differently. If you discovered it. No, no. This I think exactly also also with that we doing. need to talk about words. The word exactly progressivism that comes out of your mouth is very challenging, and I would be able to attack it. And I don't want to attack it, but other people will. No, we I need to, to own to all hear. these words and, and define them better so that we cannot be attacked in any way and we can suffice any type of... Uh, so we can go forward because we do care as a verb. Caring is a verb. It's not a noun. Love is a verb. It's not a noun. We don't hold it in our hands. And um, the word progressive is dangerous. I hear that word coming from your mouth. I believe I know what your word means, but I don't want to guess anymore about anything in the world, I want it really stated out there, right. and uh, and I think it's Join important. Group. Yeah, and I think that here we can, and and maybe just with us, we could all have a language that that we could all just adhere to, and when we go to a general assembly, we could stay within those languages and never veer out, and and we own those things like the word occupy, or whatever, and and uh, so outside of the box, looking at ourselves, defining more of what the thing is we're talking about. Are we going to fix democracy? I don't think we have a chance. I think it's their tool to destroy us. I painfully come to that conclusion. And it's terrible, but it's there. And so I want to redo new. Okay. And I want to set down another piece of paper. And even if they don't accept it, I want to come with you all. And we declared and we saved the world. We solved the problems on a piece of paper, how people work together. And, and, we, and we say, this is how we do it. We need 30 Supreme Courts. We need one just on the environment. We need one on this. I mean... It's very simple things that'll go out, and we lay it on paper. We can do it. This group right here, we don't need nowhere else. I don't. I don't want you to feel like you're the lone ranger. I'm not. You are coming up with ideas fresh that you've never heard before. I'm not. Correct. And I want you to feel like you do not need to win us over I'm to not. the point of view. Yeah. What you need to do is become part of a group, an organic group that is looking for participatory decision making. Very much sounds like you're uh, I hear coming you. across to me as you guys need. No, to no, 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 no. I've been pointing. I want to hear you all. I've been saying I want to hear you all. No, this is inclusive. You're hearing it, but then what you're saying is you guys kind of no. get it. Not at all. I don't think that anything can be really got in a conversation like no, this. I think it's no, just what we're able to come across. Can't use progressive. No, use I'm not saying you can't. I said look at it. I understand okay. your point of view. It's fine. But I want integrate it not to just dictate I agree I agree but and I'm also saying that you're going to get feedback that says well maybe I feel differently about that sure and I don't want you to say just be quiet and, and let me finish no I won't I mean if I'm doing that it's only because this is a short period of time period and I just put this is a, a, a thing of motion I've been pointing I want to hear I this want person, you to understand person. I put this thank group you together so that we could have this discussion awesome and we put this group together we met last week and mm -hmm. we did this, mm -hmm. we're meeting this week, and we're doing this, we're wow. meeting next week and the next week that we're doing this. I like you being a part of an integrated group here, but please don't feel like you have to sell us something that we don't understand. I'm not, but I am challenged I want by the to traction that's not happening. Listen about where people are rather than try and move us to where you are. I don't want that.
I just want people that can actually feels understand like me and grasp this and we of, can do this. It's kind of, it puts me in opposition to you. I want to tell you to slow down and kind of take it easy mm -hmm. and not dictate to me. All right, I won't dictate to you, but uh, I'm going to talk to the I'm whole group. interested in your opinion. Thank you. But I really don't want to be dictated to. I'm and not I don't want to anything. dictate to anybody else it's either. Wrong opinion. If I start doing it, I'm going to say to people, hey, stop it, David. Don't tell me what. This is a group experience, and we're sure. all supposed to be participating sure. in this, and nobody's think, supposed to be dominating. Right. I think we're all supposed to take everything not very personal and know that we got a big goal and that this is just offering. <coughs> and that if you might perceive this dictating, yeah. that might be a personal problem. I'm not. I want to hear. I came here. I just by luck came here today. I'm off a tour. I'm stopping here. I remember this gentleman. There's a few other people. I come here. I offer whatever I can. I've been to general cities in different states, different cities. I appreciate us all going here. I just happen to be lucky to have this circle. I'm very appreciative. I have. I, 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 I am somebody who works in a large-scale land management decisions that brings lawsuits against government agencies. And so I do deal with the taste things. I apologize then that comes out. But with that comes a lot of blessings and offerings that I could do. And mostly, I don't want to be part of the group. I would like to help groups just facilitate getting to where they want to go. I get the feeling that you'd like to be the leader of this group. Like Not at all, sir. Whoa. Not know. at all. I'd like to just You almost chill. say it out loud. And wow. I, just no. want, I want to make sure that everybody's good to be. Please. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Um, to have occupied sometime in the next couple of months, occupy a space for a weekend or a week and summit. I call it summit. Summit, yeah. It's like people's summit. Mm -hmm. Because you draft a new constitution. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's because that'll be empowering. That will be people working together, creating food together, mm -hmm. uh, making sure they're each other safe, getting there. I don't know what it would look like, but oh, it might be it. an idea that, you know, see, see, what does that resonate? How does that resonate with other people? Mm -hmm. Because what, I, my feeling making is... Making a model community. Yeah, a, so, a model community that we say, this is how you do democracy. Yeah. So, so the difficulties, the way, this is how I see it, okay? The streets and the buildings and the distances that we all live, and the only way that we can connect is on a computer. Yeah. And god awful thing will probably not give me the quality that I need. Yeah. When the cell phone certainly won't, god damn it. Okay, so I got some issues. They're giving us all this bullshit to buy, it doesn't work. They're telling us it's the best life we could ever have. Woo! So anyway, one to one. Let me rub elbows. <coughs> Am I okay? You think? You think I'm okay? He says he thinks you need a little reassurance. <laughs> <laughs> but everything's okay. Um, so anyway, I'm just echoing that. You know, I sit through a lot, which I'm patient with. It's hard to hear some things that do sound like they're controlling or they're demanding and I'm sensitive to it and that's a good thing I want to use those skills because I want to say are you being a little I mean it feels here like you're being a little too demanding yeah and you know, I'm, you know maybe it's my stuff you ought to be able to say hey time out yeah, Charlie let me, let me what the hell are you out. doing yeah well it's not so much I, I, you that does, doesn't mean I hate you or something it just means we got to straighten something out here. We're friends. We can talk. We can disagree. You say, David, that's totally wrong. Please, wait a minute. Uh, let me tell you. And, <laughs> and if I go, I don't want to hear what you're talking about, then I'm I'm wrong. I said, please, tell me. Tell me where I'm wrong. I don't have all the answers. To the world. i got a lot of opinions, a lot of ideas, a lot of stuff. But the community is what's brilliant. Yes. Community yeah, is the there genius. is brilliance. Without everyone. I, you know, what I do is I go on the internet. I don't know if anybody else is. <coughs> I go on the internet, and there are some people that have found some tactics that are just freaking hell. There's the, you know, that has to be incorporated into every occupier. What this man does is videotape. That is such a huge tool. That the for previous activists did not have. No, we did not. We, we have the internet. So we can. You're exactly right about democracy. We can literally 
have a little email list, you know, pretty big, but yes. and communicate with the freaking whole planet. You know, one of the things that I think of with this video, about four months ago, I was so impressed with what was happening in Syria. I said to myself, what would I write to the people in Syria? I mean, those poor people are isolated, right? There's no media. There's no coverage. They have to smuggle out video. So I was thinking, well, why don't we just go over to the state capitol as a background and say, we're here in Sacramento and we see you. Yeah. We yeah. see you, man. Like, yeah. And you guys are doing a great job. I hate the fact that your fucking government's killing the shit out of you. But, but we're fucking pissed off That's about great. you being killed, too. That's yeah. the kind of thing Occupy could do. And it could have a people's microphone. And you know where that would go? Yeah. That would go viral. Especially when it reaches into Syria and we're holding up signs that are in in Turkish or in, in Farsi. We're, we're brilliant. And say, we Here's know what we're, we're next. saying. <laughs> <laughs> Syria, we know we're next. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. we are sad that this is happening for you. But you know, we have, we're not just ignoring you. We're trying to make shit happen here too. I don't know, I've got some passion. Beautiful, I love it. I love it. Okay, but wait, give me your name one more time. I mean, you know, here's the thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this. Like, I want to finish one thing. Okay. People are dying in several countries to do what we're yeah. doing right now. Yeah. Dying. Yes. And, and you yes. know, yes, we, are we, we ask other people to come. Yes. They don't realize they're giving up their rights right there. They're giving, they're the letting table. the man over there in the big house control and they're not even speaking up about it I remember when do we voice this it's not okay not okay you getting this maybe we have to be a little louder but I think it gets really loud when it goes on video and other parts of the world react to it I think that that's what encouraged them in Egypt and Tunisia and in Yemen Syria Bahrain, those people knew that other people in other countries were seeing them, and there was an independent news network called just Al Jazeera that was covering them. In this country, you know what covers us here is Democracy Now! and the real news, maybe, but it doesn't YouTube. And that's where I go for my freaking news, because there's such a big difference between YouTube and what I can see there in detail. And when I get these little blurbs on national news coverage, you know, with some, some guy pontificating about what it really means, what do they want? No, right. Stupid question. Right. Anyway, now it's time for me to stop. No, no. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. And it's, that, it's part of that, we got to be doing two things at the same time. Things like this we could do next Tuesday. Right. Things that I'm talking about are going to take some time for us to hammer out that would be a, like a high priority for me, is to start communicating with the rest of the world what our beliefs are, and to put it out, to reach the media, to have a real cohesive message and cohesive messengers to go to the media and say, this is what we're doing, be there. This is what's happening, be there. And we make, we make news, we make it happen, we dictate. Somehow Occupy becomes a media force. But we have to have a cohesive message. We have to be all kind of on the same page saying this is what we care about so much that we're going to compel you to tell this story. Come on, say your objection. I can hear it. I can hear it. Well, um, I, I hear it has to be this way. It has to be catching the media's attention. And I'm thinking, it doesn't mean anything to me anymore. Because they will not listen. And they will distort whatever we do and so if we get our version of it on YouTube then the people who are our allies will go oh yeah they managed to make the, the midnight news or the six o'clock news okay what was the real news I go back to my computer they'll pull up YouTube and I go holy fuck these exactly. people were really working their exactly. ass off the MSM is not this idea that we have to like try to play to them when all they're gonna do is try to make us look foolish and and discredit us and screw the MSM. I don't mind making an effort at, 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 at asking them to be there to videotape, to witness. Uh, but if the problem is, in this movement, it's very difficult to have one spokesperson come with a really clean, cohesive yeah. message. Because our message is, I don't think it is, I mean, 
it's huge. Yeah. It's huge. I mean, you, you're not going to be able to do it on national TV. Uh, I just don't. I don't. I'm not even aiming it. I think we got to be telling people that these freaking issues are so complicated that we're just digging in and start. And that that really, what I saw in 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 uh, at Wall Street was. Uh, you know, people are willing to just say, it ain't working. It ain't working, and we know the reason why. It's in those big fucking buildings up there. Because they're distorting the news. They're the reasons why we don't know. They're the reasons why we're not educated enough to know what the banking system's all about. But if we don't have something to do about it, if we don't have a plan, a strategy, a way to impact it, all we're doing is screaming at the buildings. No, oh, I don't want to. That's right. Building. I don't want to scream the buildings. I want to. I want to be. I mean, we're talking to the people at this level. You know, the people over here and saying, you know, it's a good idea to be screaming because it'll get those people's attention over there. That they're never going to hear us. They're so far removed. I think the reason had, the people who are thing. close to us are in in the mainstream not listening because they're so freaking scared because they're getting the news from these people that these anarchists are down the block and they want to overthrow the government. Okay. Did we change the whole political mentality of the United States from deficits and cuts and things and this to the 99% and the 1%? We did. In three months, we did we that. We did. How did we they do were that? We talking about stupid things By like extending the there. budget deficit. By being there. By ma showing by up making and saying, no, this, fucking, it this conversation you're having is stupid! So, you getting our group together to hold up signs to say, we support you in Syria, we care, if we could be there, we'd be there, we are your brothers and your sisters, and we we get a mic message that sells says what we believe about supporting Syria. When that goes on the, the 6 o'clock news... Even if the corporate owns 6 o'clock news, it will, some of them will, maybe it won't, but maybe it will. We, shall, we give them the tape, we carry it down there, we voice mic them and say, put this on the air. I, I don't know how we do it, but when it goes on, people look at that and say, so that's what Occupy's about. So that's what Occupy's about. And the jewel is, we don't need them to put it on the air. They will put it on the air because they'll feel really scared when that thing gets fucking four million hits on it or whatever. And it's not being covered really here in the United States. The hits are going over there into Bahrain, Saudi Arabia. Okay. But here's they're going to be the hearing thing. it in Farsi or they're going to be reading it in Farsi and Turkish and whatever language. No matter have. what we have to say, they are going to spin it. Because I've experienced this myself. I've been interviewed by Channel 13 and, uh, yeah. you know, they carefully... They, they, they alter your message by what they leave out. They're only going to... They'll stand there and talk to you for 15 minutes, and then you get, like, a 10-second sound bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're going to take, you know, whatever is... It, it's... I think uh, rather than try to, like, court the yeah. mainstream media, we should just eschew them. Outgrow. Yeah. Yeah. Well... No, I, I, Dave, I'm with you, and that I want attention... The, the U.S. media would be a nice way to get that attention. I just don't think they can, literally can't. But it did happen. It did happen. It, it the 99% did. and the 1%, and we they could not avoid it. You know, you could see some of those people just, I can't, I hate saying this, but the 99% and the 1% in the quality and it's a real thing and we have to talk about it. Got to talk about it. Yeah, Obama said it was talked about. It was. It was. Obama unavoidable. used it. He said, "You know what? I can understand why those people are doing this. They're they're kind of angry about there not being the same rules for you people here at Wall Street as you know the same rules that the middle class." He said something along those lines, and and, and, the, and, the, and the wealthy just went, "Holy crap! Their message is getting through. What are we going to do?" You know what they're calling him? He's called a friend of the. The 99 percent, an occupier. He's going to stay middle He's of the road. He's joined the occupiers. I'm okay with him staying I'm middle of the road. Obama? And they're and accusing him of joining the occupiers. As long as he isn't sending Obama the troops is after us, I'm not okay with it. one of us. <laughs> but Obama that's what the Republicans are saying. Obama is. Obama has speechwriters that will just 
Polish yeah. Yeah. Happy Jim and make him sound good. And he's an expert. Yeah. You can't fix him. Can't fix him. Yeah. The guy can't fix his crew. Obama, the Democratic Party can't fix him. Obama has speechwriters that will just polish him and package him and make him sound good. And he's and he's an expert. And he's an expert orator. The guy could sell seawater to sailors. David, that's not you know, it's a cruel is world. It? It's a very cruel world. Ask Native Americans how it worked out. I mean, oh my gosh. It's we got a lot to do. Huh? We do, and this is awesome. Is that all? I want to win a good. hall. I went to Turn Brian Hall on J Street. Yeah, why not that for the weekend somewhere? So yeah. tomorrow night is... Um... Like in three months or something, I could bring a hall. And then, and then everybody get together, and then the same thing. You know, it, it can be here, but I, I feel... Yeah, I'll do it. I don't want to lead it. What Whatever are you talking you about? It. I don't want to lead it. There's no way. Uh, I will lead it. I can tell you'd like to. Be happy to, to lead it. <laughs> I can tell that. I don't know if that would be productive. But uh, I think that we could have it, and that better than me, maybe, uh, just winning a hall, and then getting together with, it, with Continental Congress, whatever, that there was some words you talked about it, just getting together That's about all the issues, put on paper, more. I mean, um, yeah, just keep going. Same thing as this, just bigger. Yeah, and, and uh, I, I don't just, think it's I really necessary would like to rent a hall. To join without the sense of feeling you kind of have to. You're putting a lot on me, buddy, and I don't take it. So just keep it on yourself, and I'll be fine. I am fine. You're fine. We're all fine. I love myself. I love everybody. Me too. Here. I love myself. And so you're putting a lot on me, and I wish you'd just stop. It. Okay. Thank I... you very much. I'm not quite sure what I'm putting on you. Tell me okay. how I feel. Okay. I think kind of the whole thing of, just a second, man. The whole thing of, about Occupy is that you don't have to, like, join or or pay money or have or be part of any sneaky little creepy little club or do things behind closed doors. We're right out here. I mean, you know, that, that's why I always, I don't, whenever I'm trying to talk people into coming, I never use the word join. I use the word participate because join is like you join a gang or a cult or a, or a secretive little club. But we're something that's right out here in public, right out here for all to see where anyone can come out and participate. So this whole idea of kind of going, you know, going mainstream like that, renting a hall and like that is kind of, I think, kind of um, counter to what, to, to the, the purity of the grassroots movement. Yeah, it's kind of what we decided upon as a body over the past three or four months and we're still in the process and I think oh, say, say, hey, well. I think that maybe like an eliminated like um, a few uh, like a half an hour ago I think it was this guy said that the Constitution was written a long time ago. I think that, like, in, like, limited time that they should change it, like, every two years or every leap year. That oh, they should... like, there should be a Constitutional Convention every so often to go back and re-look at it? Yeah, not... Because sometimes the Constitution is made on the problems that are then now, then there, instead of now. Really? Just, just. Yeah. I believe Jefferson said he expected yeah. a revolution every fifty or a hundred years, years or something like that. And that is our duty to overthrow. And that men, I mean, rewrite the Constitution and start over again because we don't have all the answers. Uh, that was anticipated. Yeah. And the fact that we had two hundred thirty-six years under the same, and they're starting to say that it was written by God. The Mormons believe it was written by God, uh, and you can't change God. <laughs> well. I don't, I don't agree. <laughs> this is not the word of God. It was the word of those guys back then. And if you take a look at it, you say some of it. What were they thinking? Well, that, and 236 years later, maybe it's time for us to rethink the whole system of government. You know, And I don't think that's a, a 
terrorist. I think that's a. I think we need to be indoors. That's democracy. That's big tables. Democracy indoors, is supposed to be tables. about. So we could accommodate lots of people. I'm with, with you. Bathrooms. I'm with you. What's with your name? With bathrooms. Ryan Weagle. Ryan Wayne Weagle. Thank you. And your name? Ryan. 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 Yes. Okay. Ryan. I'm yes. With Ryan. Ryan. Thank you. Ryan. Yeah. Okay. Table indoors. With, the, with the, yeah, with I'm bathrooms, with kitchens, <laughs> feed people. It might take might, might take thirty years or a year. Yeah. But I want this Maybe to always to happen too. Farm. This has to happen. This is the not separate. No way. I mean, this this is how I found you all. Right now, I mean, this is very important. Can be good. Well, come, come to the GH night. I think I might. I would like to. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I, just because I'm not here all the time is the reason that I'm not here more often. I have to travel. It's my reality. I don't want to destroy the world by traveling, whatever. But uh, I'm glad you're here. And I, thank I, you. I, you're full of passion and excitement, and that's what this place needs. Mm -hmm. Motor runs on. I'm also. We, just, we have to integrate our passions and our excitement right. into the community. Yeah. I, I also want to say, Ryan, yeah. I really appreciate you sticking up for yourself. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah. I, thanks. That's hard I, to do. You know? uh, yeah. I do, too. I think we all got it. Anyone want any coffee? I'm just going to walk over and get a cup of coffee. I'll buy some cup of coffee over here. Yeah, I mean, and also, <laughs> what is the politics of parking here? Am I going to get a ticket in a minute? No. You know, I don't know. Don't know. What does it say, uh, Saturday? Saturday? I get until 6. I think I'm going to feed more than me there. And uh, I want to enjoy it, but uh, I want to get a little cup of coffee and come back. Well, what, we'll, we'll be here, and awesome. uh, the GA starts at 4. So what time is it now? It's about quarter after 3. Quarter after oh, three, awesome. A lot of time. Right here. Oh, good. I I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Thank so, you. So I have an interest in, in since I, I, I thought it hurts a lot of excitement in the group about having a place to meet for some... Like a summit. See, so yeah, I got lots of nodding yeah. heads, yeah. and it's like, okay, that's an idea that yeah. might be contagious for the GA, or maybe <laughs> to be put on the website. To say, whoa, this looks like an idea that might be a good idea. The websites are nice, the email, the Facebook, all the stuff's really nice, but it's it's hitting short because I've been hearing people say they need connection, and there's this incomplete stuff, and this, and and, and actually people. You know, it's, it's, it seems easy to me to come to a GA maybe two or three times, and then you got something that comes up. And then you think, well, I don't really need to go. They're not really doing anything. There's just a few people. You know, they're bickering about a whole bunch of stuff. I could kind of do without that. We need it. We gotta well, be there. Every I once in a while. This. We gotta be there. What if, what if we start trying to plan like like a month from now or something? Um, a little bit, a little bit warmer and whatnot. Like a weekend at the farm, where the main event will be drafting. You know, Occupy Sacramento's. You know, <laughs> request for a new constitution. And we'll get you as know, much like, time as we can get. Maybe yeah, more yeah. Than a weekend. Yeah, yeah, we, we well, might need a couple of weeks. Totally I, I would still like out. to put, yeah, every time I hear that, I go, oh. Well, you know, I, 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 I got to say, I, I, I think that the... I do think we have a, a viable, flexible basis. Our Constitution is basically a good thing. It really has helped us have democracy. I I don't want to start from scratch drafting a new constitution, I think but I do want to see changes in, in um, you know, the some of the amendments and some of the things that are, are there. And there really is, there really are means to make those changes, and that's what I'd like to do. I think that there would be a number of people who totally agree with you and say, that's, that's the way I feel. I just think it's it's worthy of discussion. It's worthy of opening it up, and it kind of pushes the discussion to the extreme. So to say, well, I don't want to go that far, but how about this? Or you know, for me, I think it's archaic, and it's, it has become destructive and needs to be. But that's my opinion. That's what I'll be arguing. Okay, uh, I don't know. Oh, we're about and I think the West Coast states should say screw Washington and secede and form our own country. But, I mean, people look at me like I'm nuts for saying that. I'm but, with you. I mean, we're already the fifth largest nation. If California were a nation, we're the fifth largest nation in the world. We should, we should have our... Maybe we could have a 
Constitutional Convention for California to start. There you go. <laughs> and we'll yeah. show them how it's done, and then they can think about doing it for the rest of the country. Yep, the, the federal government is, is it's too bloated, it's too, it's like just too screwed up. I it's mean. just all money oriented and, and not people oriented. we got to get it people yeah. oriented and the money to serve the people. Yeah. Uh, um, well, I think that, well, a few occupies have probably tried this just marching into the White House and telling them, like, this is this, we want this, we want freedom. But it, it'd be hard. It's like, we have to find a schedule where everyone could, like, join. Like, we'd have to find a schedule for my grandma on one of her days off and everybody. And everybody. So, so we could have the biggest number of people just march in there and just tell them what we want. Well, they did uh, have a, a movement you know, afoot for a march on Washington. It hasn't been, the dates haven't been set. I think they're talking about it, and it hasn't been really, but um, uh, Occupy Washington. Well, they did Occupy Congress about a month ago, right? And I think we could get, if we can get five million people there, it's very hard to ignore that voice, Mike, when it starts yeah. roaring. And that's what, I just think those are possible. I know those are, sounds wild, but I think people would never have believed what we've already accomplished. They've said, you can't do that. You can't change the whole country in three months. Well, uh, sorry, we did. And now we're saying, what else can we do? And I don't think that, I think the sky's the limit. I don't think you can put any limits and say, well, maybe we can't do that. Or maybe. I want to start, that's why this is a vision thing. I want the vision of what we would like it to be like and then you tell me why we can't do that. Yeah, but vision first, life. and then all the objections after. That's, that's what this group is about. To try and get us to think about how we want it to be, not why we can't get there. We will deal with that after we have a coherent vision that we all say, this is what we would Nobody's like to watching. die for. A society like this, a country that we can love, a country that oh, it's noble, be uploaded. And worthwhile, and treats everyone the same, a country that we can be proud of, a country that we'd be proud to export to other countries and say, yes, do what we're doing. But we can, we've got such a big job, and it's an all hands on deck, and that's us. So, um, just to follow up with uh, this concept, because I, I was actually thinking of, of, you know, by us, like, drafting a constitution, and me personally, like, I, I, I'm more concerned, I'm less concerned about the constitution as, uh, than what's been all the law on top of it since then, and, and like, you know, basically, like, the need for lawyers to understand anything, you know, just yeah. the, the convolution of everything. That seems unreasonable. So, I, 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 generally speaking, I'd be fine if we, if we, you know, readopted our constitution, start from a clean slate with our original constitution with a few appropriate amendments. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, but you know, pretty much, pretty much going back to that and then starting fresh. That, that'd be fine with me. But I guess towards the idea of, of a constitutional congress, I think the, the, the plan of us like first drafting our own. And then say like having something that, that we really collectively yeah. designed, and then then when there if and when there is a, a nationwide constitutional co convention, then then we could I, I would feel more uh, reassured that we have like a coherent argument or like we have a coherent thing where we're pushing for and 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 the more that's done around the country, the the more we can feel safer about that because I, I I do share your concerns. That, that it's a, a scary free-for-all, you know. But, it, yeah, I, I don't... I, I have trouble finding a way around it if if I, if I we can get to some reset of, like, you know, let's, let's look at what the real, you know, sort of God-given laws are of our, of our existence and, and, and figure it out from there. But I just thought... <laughs> I just... I like my sign that says, some see things as they... Are and ask why. I dream of things that have never been and ask why not. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, I think. Wait, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh right. Okay. Well, 
Some of the people that were at Occupy have given up and think it's hopeless. Like, like um, an hour ago or so, a guy came walking by and screaming at us. But um, to look back and see all the th all the stuff that we've actually ac ac accomplished, like. He's working on an awesome project over there. And I think he was the one that wrote on the stairs that made it look beautiful. And and everything we've accomplished so far is like nothing. We're going to accomplish a lot more stuff in the future. <laughs> All right, Tay Tay. Just keep on, keep this kid coming. Yeah. <laughs> you leave him at home. I don't, I don't think she got to be stopped. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, everybody. But there's, there, you know, I, I want to bring back up for the short term, um, I think we ought to work on Citizens United. Um, you know, there's a lot of push there. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think that is, there are a lot of that want to shake a stick at. That is not yeah. going to yeah. 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 We don't have to. When I was interviewed like the first or second day of Occupy Sac, and and he asked me like what I thought our purpose was, I I could not get around like money and politics. Like that feels like the core issue. Even though it's Occupy Wall Street, this is sort of a result of a financial crisis and general like loss of trust in our system. But but I feel like the money and politics issue is the the like binding force and and the the key bridge or uh, the the most comfortable bridge between Occupy and Tea Party, because I don't like the divide, you know? If, if I, I, I personally was all for the Tea Party, like, five years ago, before, you know, when it was just Ron Paul people, and not, like, mainstream GOP co-option, like, I, I could get down with a lot of what they had to say. Um, but it definitely got co-opted, and they started getting lots of social values that, that I don't align with as much. But, but I feel like part of what our job with Occupy is, is finding that common ground with the Tea Party because the, they are totally part of the 99%. At least, you know, the, the, those on the street, you know, those funding them, no. Uh, you know, once it went mainstream, the, like, that, then that gets into a different discussion. I think the but. Tea Party are a bunch of ignoramuses, but <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> well, I'd like to speak to that, even though I just got here. Um, we're old enough to remember Buck Minister Fuller. But Mr. Fuller, I don't know, for those of us who are aware, was a great thinker and a great humanitarian. And one of the things he said that I wish I could put into a bumper sticker is we didn't get a manual for Spaceship Earth. We don't know how to operate this thing. We're doing it chapter by chapter. But one thing we know is there's just one Earth. Nobody's getting sent off of it. Everybody here we have to live with. And all of us have core values about wanting to survive, wanting to be happy, wanting each other to be happy. So I think what we have to do, I love the 99% concept. I think it's just so slick. It's so helpful. Except it's off by 1%. It's a hundred percent. And the bankers, they're not, they're not, we're mammals. We're not going to be happy as long as our other mammal friends aren't happy. And we can call them enemies, we can call them, we can do whatever we want to. But basically, we're all on this together. And eventually, we sink or swim together and we're going to, we're going to fly. This is just a stage. That's my opinion. <laughs> Are you done with this tape? No, we're not using yeah. hands, right? We're just talking, right? Well, I, so that we don't all talk at once, uh, we've been... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't Don't, please, me. please speak. Okay. Um, well, like some other occupies, they've taken over um, buildings that have been foreclosed and buildings that look empty and just never going to be used again. Well, and some of the people just think, oh, we're not going out at winter, it's too cold, I have my kid and I have my dogs. Well, <laughs> well, um, 
maybe we could take over like a foreclosed building that maybe has heat. Anyway. I have this one got shady. It's like Where, the where's one? one? There may be some difficult legal problems. Right there. The right there, that yeah, building with the with the blue that's a vacant building. Oh. We can take over that building. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm oh, right. I think that's a good idea. I, I also really like the idea of uh, occupying the farm for the symposium and setting up the tents and having a thing go for six weeks out in the whatever and do all the stuff that we need to do to have something to offer to the world that's cohesive, coherent, simple, understandable clear, and something that everybody buys into with their heart and says, uh, we are totally with that. Totally with that. We're all with that. And it, that, it's not an easy task, but I think, I don't think it's avoidable. I think that that's what we should be doing, and that's what we're going to continue to do with this group. And I think yeah. groups that may, I, this group may go on for a year, I don't know. But we still... Forever. We have to struggle with this part of it. And I think, boy, I feel like we made some, some progress today. That we've moved the discussion forward in some interesting ways that we can probably bring up. We can start, you know, maybe bringing a, something to GA and say, you know, Miles! Miles, some Miles, things that we want to maybe talk about, maybe get a working group together, maybe da 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 da. That's what I want to see us working on. And also working on getting everybody downtown here and sitting in on this. But just, there's just no reason why we can't have it. The people that have been here all the time, they can't all be divorcing. They're just sitting kind of going, I don't know what I want to do. we we got to make this what people want to do. And I don't know exactly how, but... I have an idea! Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? Oh, guess who has she an idea? She wants to go dancing. <laughs> yes, let's go dancing. That's a good idea. Take it away! What do you mean? It's I'm always deal. saying it. I don't want to dance. Okay, here's the thing, guys. The Hopi's been... I blocked that one! <laughs> okay, go on. Give her a chance. Huh. I'm no. surprised. She's just teasing. I'm not sure. Uh... The Hopis spend 50% of their time in ceremonial dance. Half of their time was dancing. That might have just been... What it might have been! Right? But 50% oh, of the time together this. they were creating movement. In a coordinated, coherent... And it didn't have to do with ideas, talking. It had to do with being humans together. Feeling? Just feeling me doing that, right? There, she, there Morgan goes, see? So it has to do with something that inspires. So I said, let's go dancing. And some people found that amusing. I can't find it, think of a better thing. I hear faces was great. Three places to dance. Also, get this, guys. Last week, I just brought this up because... You know me, I bring everything up. And I, we went down to Broad Acre. Broad Acre's thinking about letting us have their basement to refurbish and make our own on Wednesdays and Saturdays at a nominal or free price. So that we have, and, and my, I propose, David doesn't like this one, I propose, but we all have to work on it, struggle it out. Come on, David, come on. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you don't. You don't Thank have to you. struggle Thank now. You. I got that. Uh, but I propose that when we are in that place, we don't talk Occupy. I propose we talk David and Ann. We talk Morgan and Sean. We socialize. We socialize. And that if and this okay. might happen, it might come. So occupying a building might happen legally. With the cooperation of the owners, because guess what? They're part of the 100%. They want us to succeed, the people at Broad Acre. They don't Love want it. us fussing and fighting. Love. Or if Love. we have to fuss and fight, get over it and start dancing. 
<laughs> it's, it's like, it's like I, what I miss is music. Music! I think there should be music. I, I want to be able to plug in my music system here and crank it out for a little while and then talk and, you know, hey, I'd it? like to see us... Can we do, we can't do making, that. Yeah, but music. Uh, we have to put down a hundred dollar fee or something before we can listen to, to music. So what, Sean? Use, you have to have On Saturdays, we used to have, be able to have... Uh, but if, if we if we don't tear the place up, we get a hundred bucks back? Because I'll put a hundred bucks down. No, you have to buy it. And then it's, that's it. You bought, you bought it. Okay. I thought it was just a... Okay. It's non What happened to that thing that every Saturday yeah, they were there? they were bringing down, they brought the we sound system that, and, and they, we never they, really got permit and they never really said anything to anyone except maybe once or twice. But um, I think once the weather's warm and there's people out and about like there is today, we're <laughs> probably still doing that again. Boy, I'd love to see that. It's just a positive that. event. If we don't have a bunch of the anarchists coming and stirring up stuff, or the people from the ghetto a few blocks over coming and stirring up stuff, yeah, as long as there's no problems, they might not have a problem with us. Dun, well, dun, nice. dun, dun, I think we can do this thing, guys, and I think it's got to have music, and it's got to have <laughs> socializing, and um, I'm sorry about your hand being up, and I'm just talking. It's okay. That will stop. What? Where? Bye, bye. What? Where? Oh, okay. Um, I think that there should be a movement in like June or somewhere in the summer where all the occupies meet in one place, and and we where all the occupies meet in one place, and we all all the different areas from all the different cities. Well, now I heard there is supposed to be a big gathering in like, Philadelphia on the 4th of July that people are going to come from all over. Oh, that 4th of July, Philadelphia? Yeah. But that's, Philadelphia, that's far away. I mean, a lot of people can't. We need buses. <coughs> we need a bus, incidentally. We I need a bus. bus. Uh, but I mean, John, but, uh, uh, just on that, um, there was something in Philadelphia, uh, there became a huge debate between the people that occupy Philadelphia and the people that occupy Wall Street, and that was just falling through. Is it falling through? Yeah. Well, it must be resurrected. Sorry about my... What's going on on the first day? idea will not go away. I was in... Hey, hey, hey. Dog alert, dog alert. So where's this farm? I really want to go check out this farm. Well, you guys are on Wednesday. Highway 5, I don't remember. <laughs> well, Highway 5 is a long road. <laughs> um, I wasn't finished with my... Yeah, we, us, we, we could all go, and then we could all come back. I wasn't really finished Hey, you know what? Idea. I have a, like a 50-pound lasagna in my trunk. <laughs> Get some. <laughs> it is. I mean, I could hardly... It's like, God, this thing is heavy. <laughs> so, let's... Okay. They're expecting us at 5. The people at the farm. Oh. Oh, I thought that's what we were, sorry. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, we're talking about. Somebody we said I wanted to know it. about yeah. the farm. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Where is it? Uh, never ask me a where question, but uh -oh. I can. I know how to get there. Uh -oh. I can find, near the airport, very close to the airport. Where? Near the airport? No, I and I may not even be pointing in the right direction. I, I have no idea. <laughs> is that the I have no idea. Oh, good, thank you. Yeah, you guys can go up Sweetie, you should just talk. Jump in here. Just don't worry about that. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, can we go? Oh, as I was saying, I think we should like divide. I see where it is. Like divide the world I should have brought my van. I like can haul about it. That's a definite. Mic check. Let's dance mic check. And we'll like check. I'm ready to Um, anyway, uh, I think, um, like we should divide all the world's occupies in like four like divide the world into four and they should meet in one place and then get into a huge march and march to all the city halls and all the um well in the white house and just and just tell them what they want they want peace they want freedom and and because that that will be bigger than just like five or six people just going to the city hall that will that that will be like a million people no not a million but but it'll be 
it'll be many people just like marching in there just saying what they want. Can you file a report, Sean, at the moment with uh, Richards, the police department, local police department? Is it possible? I know you represent them in the small way. <laughs> laughter. <laughs> Created laughter. <laughs> oh, come on, that's a guy with that hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> Your cousins. <laughs> My name's Mr. Johnson. My name, I go by the name Chuck Chaz or Charles. <laughs> I am feeling like a Charlie. Uh, unfortunately, I was at FedEx Kinko's this afternoon. Uh, doing my work and it was incomplete. Rather difficult to explain, but surreptitiously viewed and uh, interrupted, as well as stolen, the information stolen. I don't know how to exactly describe the cyber crime, but the information was stolen from me and obtained at various locations other than the location on uh, J Street. So, just wanted to report it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. we can God talk bless you. We're done with our meeting okay, good. I'm not having service. I'm not set. Looks like people are good. Camera just um, said low battery and shut down. Oh, God. Okay. All right. <laughs> I can't oh, make it the conversation yeah. late. What were we talking about? Yeah. There's a lot of talk of dance and then <laughs> going to city council. Hey, I don't know. What are we talking about? Yeah, what's the subject? <laughs> are we, we've been trying to talk about the, to just how Occupy is going to define itself. I don't think this is working. Why can't you go out there? We talked a little bit about cynicism, kind of how easy it is to be cynical, how easy to say that ain't going to work, how easy to say that's impossible, how easy it is to say, well, why are we trying, it's just not worth the effort, how much more difficult it is to say, this may seem impossible, this may be, but this is what we want, and let's worry about how we get there later, let's talk about how we want it to be, and uh, how we form that with a the whole community working together rather than try to stovepipe at the 15 committees looking for a purpose. Yeah. That we get the whole body working together on these big issues, the vision, the values, the priorities, and fighting it out. That's why I hope that we could have 50 people here, of the, all the old occupiers and all the you know, let's, and working out the inner conflicts and the arguments and the things. And the, Spend in the time to do whatever it takes to work work them through until we become a cohesive, clear force within the society that people want to say, well, what does Occupy think? Let's find out. Because they generally have the progressive vision. You know, the, we talked about how the whole society of um, America is center right right, extreme right, and crazy right. There is no progressive vision or progressive movement. That's socialism and communism, we don't talk about that. We have to frame the idea of the cooperative community effort rather than the competitive individualist effort to work together as a community and how that would look and how we would get there. And, and I think the reason we start talking about constitutional convention is because You'd almost have to strip everything down and start over again to really do what we want to do. We can't keep putting band-aids on this and, and thinking it's going to work. We have to really clear the decks and say, okay, let's talk about how we really want it to be. Yeah. And it can start with us. It can start with Occupy because we're allowed. You know, we don't have any limits. We don't have any barriers. We don't have any taboos. We can talk. We can believe anything. Cover territory that's just not being covered by this wow. society. And then when we have it, and we believe it, and we feel the passion and the emotion and the thing, that's what will carry us forward in the society. You can't just give them handouts. You can't just tweet them. We have to reach them emotionally. And to do that, we have to reach ourselves emotionally. We have to be a, a powerful force, not just a lot of ideas and thoughts and things. Yeah. We have to care about it enough to, you know, fight it out. And it's so easy to get distracted off onto this issue or that issue or this issue. You've got to get beyond that, beyond everybody's individual issues, everybody's individual. If you just listen to me, this will be, all be all straightened out and get to what we all 
just we all start nodding our heads and saying, yeah, 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 we got to do that. <laughs> but it doesn't happen automatically. It has to be worked out like we're doing it right here. I can't think of another way to do it. You can't do it online. You can't do it by writing letters to each other. The, the, the mass, the body has to be together and work it out. And that's what we're doing, and that's what we're going to keep doing until we don't need to do it anymore. And I think that's just about... That's just about Charlie needs to say something. Charlie. Chuck. 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 Okay. I think this occupation that I have as a writer and a teacher and a Christian should be shared with the whole world. That's my dog. Sorry. For all humanity, all creatures, and God's children. Uh, that should be remembered from from the first day of life, even prior to that. You remember, but uh, we have to spread the message. Matthew 28 18. Matthew 28 18. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. I hope that's succinct enough. Thank you. <laughs> John, okay. First of all, I, I want to go on what you're saying. Yeah. I'm going to I'm I'm comment on Chuck's real fast okay. because um, as someone who's absolutely 100% not a believer of anything fake or pseudo or religious, not to categorize them together, but all these things to me um, are interpretive and not everybody agrees on this views. I, I do, despite the Jesus part, I do believe... Um, Animals have some sense of regard in this world, other than being put in factory farms and uh, being genetically tested on for whatever reasons. Um, and I have in my head so much, so many times over elaborated on what Gandhi said is that uh, you can tell the uh, advancement of the psyche of a nation by the treatment of its animals. And that's because when people are so, have risen up to such a point that they can have an understanding of the true value of life and how all creatures can coincide together without being at war, without killing each other, without any several other things, uh, the people would care significantly for their animals. They treat them better and they take steps to protect them rather than using them as just tools. I mean, the way we treat our animals is worse than the way we treat plants at this point. Um, I say the same thing sometimes about children. The way that we treat our children indicates how we are in society. And it's the same thing. And the way we treat the people socially below us, the homeless and the poor, indeed, the same thing. You're right. No. In fact, that came up. How do you judge a country by how the best people in the world are doing in that country? Or how the most impoverished people are doing. And we've just been in all our judgment on how is the oh, economy yeah. doing, how is the rich doing, with not, not a care. A community-oriented society says, I don't care about them, they're fine. How are the least doing? And that's how you judge how well our society is exactly. doing. How well are they doing? Exactly. And that's what condemns this society right now, that it's obscene what we do. Uh-huh. And we have no conscience and no soul. If we can have hundreds of thousands of homeless and hungry while we have a thousand billionaires. That makes no sense. Yep. That's, that's obscene. And yet we buy it. And I think Occupy says no longer. We don't buy that anymore. We're not going to tolerate it any longer. There's no excuse for it any longer. And we are not going to rest until we start a people-centered democracy. And it starts with us. Yeah. And do the hand. We have to make it work here first before we can expect anybody to believe a damn word that we have to say. And if we're at constantly at each other's throats, fighting <laughs> over who should say what, what da, 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 we have nothing to, nothing to say to America. And that's one of the reasons that I'm putting together this group, to start building a community that works together and feels together and cares together and believes and is willing to fight and die for it. But it's, you can't put it on Facebook and you can't mail out a mailer 
you have to do it with the people here sitting with their butts on the ground, fighting it out. And I, I don't know what it's going to take, but I'm not stopping until this place is filled with people saying, please, let me say something. Because I'm tired of talking. I am I want to, I have another point I want to make, and it was more on what you were saying with that launch. Is uh, the direction Occupy is going to take. Um, it's, we've been through a lot here, and we've tried a, a few different directions. Uh, we got really hung up and focused on the park over there, which I think um, ultimately turned out to be a bad thing, because there's way broader things we need to be fighting for that would actually help people than us being able to sit in a park overnight every day. Um, I'm, I think this, I don't know about the nation, but I think at least the city has kind of a sickness about it. That they're really apathetic to important political things going on. They are affecting everybody's lives, especially the poor, especially the homeless, um, and then in some cases other minority groups and women. Um, I, the what Occupy has been doing, all the different tactics we've taken, ultimately nothing has worked. We have made zero progress since we first started in early October. Uh, we've made no headway, no rules or systems have been changed because of us. Uh, maybe a little bit of um, like putting it out there and more people have an understanding of what's going on. Maybe that, but even that, it's not much. Um, compared to what we already had. Um, I think we need to put more focus on how we're going to go about expanding because the only way we're going to make changes is, I, and I've narrowed it my head down to three ways. One is sudden revolution, which would be violent, and I don't think that could be a very good thing. Um, the second one is mass vote and changing the political system through the existing political system, which could work. I'll elaborate on that in a little bit. Or the third way is by really getting more and more people to come in to be a part of Occupy. That by us being so big that we can't be ignored, we have to be listened to, um, which is not something that we have right now. But by us doing that, that's the only way we're really going to be successful and accomplish. And um, again, I'll say that though, I'm afraid I've witnessed that the city has a sickness about it. They they don't, the people really don't care. It's like before Occupy, I've been a vegetarian for a long time now. And I see so many benefits in so many different ways to being a vegetarian. It's it's better for animals, it's better for people, it's better for your diet, it's better for your health. Um, it's all the smartest people in the history of the world were vegetarians. And all the vegetarians I've known in the history of the world were very intelligent people. Um, I think everyone should be a vegetarian. I don't push my view on, pe on to people about that. But it's what I think. I think it'd be a better world if everyone was. But nobody cares about all those points I just made. Nobody really thinks that's applicable to their own lives. And hold are taking over our lives all the way from what Monsanto is doing to um, lobbying to all sorts of different things. Um, everyone out there kind of knows all that, but they just don't care. So the only way we're going to be successful on the front of getting people on to join and occupy in our cause is by figuring out how to make them care. And if we can't do that, then we're not going to succeed. 
Not impossible though. Right. Yeah. And I think a lot of it has to do with the cohesion of the community, the, how much we together and function as a community and believe with the community and can work. Now, I may still want to eat hamburgers, but I still want to be a member of the Occupy. Is it okay? You know, do we have room for certain distinctions, but maybe not others? Is it? Of course. I think. All that we can do is make sure that everybody gets their voice heard and gets a chance to say this is something important. I think it ought to be one of our high priorities and let the community decide. It's got to be what the, the body thinks. And we can't get destroyed by the fact that we can't get 100% agreement on every, everything. I mean, that's what it seems like now because we can't get universal agreement. Everybody says, well, nah, I don't think I want to play because they're not... They're not listening to my thing. They're not doing what I want to do, so I don't want to play. That's this group. Can we actually form something that that subsumes all that, that gathers that all in, that makes everybody put the little things aside and say, well, I'm, you know, you know, but this we've got to do. This for the good of the country, for the good of my children. We've got to do this, and I can't let my personal specialties undermine the big picture. And then everybody has to kind of give a little bit of, of what they think just has to be to make sure that the whole is, is built and supported and, and that everybody feels supported even if we don't all become vegetarians. You know, or whatever it is that you think you got to be here to celebrate. Yeah. There are enough issues that we all agree on. I mean, personally, I'm a devout carnivore. Sorry. <laughs> but there are enough issues that we all agree on. We all agree, you know, we all agree that something's got to be done about the corporate personhood. We all agree that this uh, Defense Authorization Act is a big step in the wrong direction. I think we we all agree that you know, like you guys were just saying a little while ago, that 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 our society should be judged by how we treat the poorest and the most disadvantaged, and and we are failing miserably. Not us, not us as Occupy, but as a as a society, as a nation, we are failing miserably in that regard. Um, you know, I think we all agree that. Uh, that we don't want, we don't want any more blood for oil. We don't want any more foreign wars. We all agree that our our individual rights and liberties are being infringed on and being compromised. I think there's enough enough big major issues that we agree on that we can't get too sidetracked into into like sweating the small shit. That's the in fact that's the idea of this group to get everything together to look at it all and to make some priorities to say this is what we all agree on are the top dozen priorities and this is what we're going to fight and die for all these other things are important we'll get to them when we can but let's hit the dirty dozen first that we all agree on and and we'll, we'll go from there so that we have something coherent to give to the society so that they say oh is that what occupy means oh i see what they're saying oh that makes a lot of sense Okay, yeah, I think what Sean was sort of maybe getting at, correct me if I'm wrong, but, but there's a gap between, you know, the ideas we each have and the values we each have and our actions, you know, and it's and it's less for some of us than others, and, and you know, th this applies to all sorts of issues, um, yeah. and there is, there is like, uh, I don't want to say depressing apathy, but it's borderline depressing apathy, you know, in general, and, and it's gotten better, like, Occupy, the existence of Occupy has helped me a lot, you know, cope with the the uh, amount of apathy. So, I mean, so, yeah, some no. of my ideas are, you know, like, we, no matter what kind of society we want to design, we're going to need to shift the values and shift, you know, how people how people see the world. You know, we could have a free market capitalist society where the, the people are unreasonably more wealthy than others got that way because they were helping the most people at the bottom, and that's what we value as a society. Or we could have a cooperative society where the 1% cooperate really well to impress the rest of us. You know, so, 
it's, it's those kind of things, and it's just a matter of, of our values. Um, so it, I, I, I think that is totally one of the fronts that we need to work at. And I, I tend to, at least the approach I tend to take is that it's strategically advantageous, like beyond like emotions, beyond like the power of love to win, and, and you know these these ideas of cooperation. It's a, it's strategically advantageous for us to care for each other and, and 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 for us to help each other out. So maybe those are the kind of directions that we can we can try to widen the the net. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Sean. My name's Ryan. I went to get some coffees here earlier. I, uh, I agree with a lot in there, but the one part I don't agree, there's a few that I don't agree with about that people don't care about the life. People don't care? They do. Um, caring is a verb, it's not a noun. It's not something we hold in our hand. It's, uh, I would like to maybe discuss that with the group of people one time, just that word caring, because they do. Um, also, about the sacrament as a sickness, it's all over the place. It's not just here. I, was just, I, I understand that, but I want to make it very clear that my... My persona acknowledges it's <laughs> everywhere. It's not my belief. My existence acknowledges it's everywhere. It's been here since the founding fathers. And it's up in here. And that, uh, yeah, so the, 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 uh, I also believe that the, um, we can do it. We can. There's no problem. There's no problem unless we create that problem. Um, with the, the, and there you're, the, yeah. I also want to brought out that you you were talking about this one gentleman, and he got up, walked past me, and just kind of like burped in my ear and walked off. Now, there are times where we let everybody speak, but there are times where we do not let everybody speak. And I'm wanting to hang out with a bunch of people, get to the point where it is that group of people, and we do leave. And maybe we're wrong. And uh, but okay, and then and then we have these ideas that go up there because I felt that was very. I've been in a lot of circles and it's very hard to be emotionally attached and listen and talk. And then all of a sudden, something like that happens. It's just it's not. It's damaging for my psyche to become emotionally bonded or to be able to listen. And then all of a sudden, it's just ripped out. And that's what happened there. I think. Yeah. And uh, just bringing that up in there. That, 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 that meanings and. Productivity. Hi, Mom. <laughs> yeah. And it's, I have so many things that are important occupied that I feel like I need to share, but it would be off topic for this conversation. There's nothing off topic for this conversation. Oh, I see. He squeezed out the... Okay, like... Um, for one, okay, because so, we are truly a grassroots movement, and we are only a baby of a gra- grassroots movement. Um, so being that we are a bunch of people who come together, we all agree there's a lot of issues in this country, and we not only want to change them, but fix them for the sake of humanity. Um, now, one problem we encountered last season... Oh, yeah, that's power. Okay, one problem that we encountered last season that I think if we don't talk about now, we're going to counter it again this season, is uh, when you get a bunch of people together talking about the problems of the country and trying to get together in a public area to have events and talk about it, you're going to have a lot of the criminals and the true not good people of society who are going to jump on that because they all agree there's problems with this country because they have been on the very receiving end of those problems even if they've brought it on themselves and they're also going to bring a lot of their issues that they continue to have to the grassroots movement and it caused us some major problems last season and I'm afraid that's going to come back up again with um, and if I could just specify, put some specifications out there um, with sex offenders coming and then there being a lot of family people out here and with their children and their families. And when families gather in a public place and then realize they're sex offenders, they don't want to be there anymore. Um, also, not just can I, sex... Can I ask? Yeah. Are you thinking about changing venue? That, that, that the answer might be a change of venue? Very possibly. I think that's a good solution. Because I think we might... We have been talking about... I haven't it, thought of around, solutions, but... And I think it's a legitimate... Uh, question to open up yeah and um, this, it might be there may be a, a solution for that and I, I agree with you it's, it's, it's undermining 
the, the safety issues undermine what they we really, really do. The trusting feeling we need to have a, a group community really work. You yeah. can't be wondering, you know, is this guy a right, a, right? And I've known, I've, I've personally come to find that there were several sex offenders out in the park last season, oh. and when I, and when word kind of went around about it, um, it really turned a lot of people off. Oh, I, me- I remember. In fact, uh, the whole blocking thing was about yeah. being sexually unsafe. That yeah. Who knows? I remember that. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? And I think that's maybe the next place we have to go. Someone go watch like the uh, PDK, everyone, and go take a walk around the corner. Someone go watch like the other side. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it from here. Is that okay? Right. Yeah. Um, right. That I think a change of venue is a very good solution to that. I think we should really bring. I think we should also explore other possible things to help in that case. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the cops walked by earlier. A few minutes ago, two minutes ago, and I overheard them talking and said, "Yeah, they're not allowed to do this, the talk, yeah, and everything." And then, and then they said, um, "Well, we don't know who did it, so we can't say they have to the go out of the park because it could be anyone." Okay. So I think we should. Whoever did it, did it. Yeah, yeah. Well, careful, well, if I could I say, say, I've yeah. spoke with several cops yeah. while I've been doing art with chalk here at the city. So if they want to come and talk to me while I'm doing it sometime, I wouldn't mind that. They all know they can approach me. Um, but for now, it's not a concern. Okay, i got to take a body <laughs> break. Now. Yeah, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Can I leave this here? Is there yeah. Is somebody here? Well, I'll watch it. I think we ought to take a bunch of uh, Well, I don't know. She's the eyes and ears of the group right now. <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. oh, what, you don't want to save her the GA? We've had enough uh, enough stimulating discussion for one afternoon? I want to go check out that farm. I'm going to have to come, come down on my own sometime to find out where it is. Sean? Yeah. I see. How you doing, C? What's that? What's that? She's right over here by this car, petting the dog. I told her, get away from that dog, you're going to be it. She goes, I know that dog. That dog knows me. She's sure of herself. Yeah, I'm always afraid she's going to get bit one of these days. Cause she's not. She has no fear of dogs at all. Thank you.